didn't work out that way, as Chris McLaughlin reports. Before this one, Celtic were keen to show team spirit wasn't a problem after the much publicised bust up between Aidan McGeady and Arthur Boric. And it was the Parkhead number one who had to look lively early on, as Queen's Park pushed early for an opener. A decent drive in from Ryan Holmes. An early test for Boric. Celtic were making heavy weather of this one, but took the lead after 19 minutes. Gary Caldwell directing his header high past Crawford after a D's knock-on. Dan O'Dee knocking it back in. Caldwell's header gave Crawford no chance. And their lead was doubled just before the break. Good work from McGeady. The ball in from Naylor. Jan Veniger of Hesselink headed the ball towards goal. Scott McDonald made sure it hit the back of the net. Good build-up play involving McGeady and Naylor. Veniger of Hesselink and McDonald did the rest. As the Spiders continued to enjoy more and more possession, they brought on former Motherwell and Alloa frontman Adam Coakley. He would have his part to play. The second division side continued to push and Stephen Nicholas almost gave the visiting fans what they wanted. But he could only find the side netting after the drive-in from Holmes. Midway through the second half, the Spiders were rewarded for the resilience though. Coakley's first effort saved by Boric, the second went in with a little help from the post. After Boric blocked well first time, but Coakley wasn't to be denied. His over-eager celebrations were to cost him dearly though, a yellow card for running to the fans. Then ten minutes before the end, this challenge on Lee Naylor, referee Willie Collum said yellow again. No doubting Coakley was late, but a booking may have been harsh. Nevertheless, an early bath and a few words of consolation from Gordon Strachan. I was gutted I get sent off, but can't ask for much more scoring a goal at Parkhead. 